Hey guys, we got us a. Uh, well, actually, what she said is when it's set to auto, the heat won't shut off. So let's go in and see what's going on. Stay tuned. <laughs> It's uh, yeah, this heat little that little won't shut off. I know. That was just right over here. Yeah. All right, where's that? Yeah, there you go. All right, so if you put it on auto. Yeah, so it's usually, right, you're putting the heat on and heat on and then fan auto. The heat won't shut off. No, it just keeps running. So even if I turn it down, it's going to stay on? Uh, down or up, like when it's, yeah. Like right now, I got it where. So, so it, let's say like it's a whole well, day, you have it on 71. When it gets to that, it's just going to keep going, 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 going. It doesn't ever. Okay, I understand. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up a little bit. Get that to come back on. When it comes back on, I'll check it, okay? Okay. All right, so I did turn it off and now I gotta wait on a five minute time delay. Well, at least I thought I did. All right, so what she's describing is that it runs all the time and won't satisfy the thermostat. was like coming close to pumping down I didn't see any icing around the TXV mm, let me see so it would be this one that would be icing I didn't see icing on either one of them normally you would see it right here or if it's locking down right here, you would see it here. I didn't see it anywhere. Look at those pressures. 
<laughs> Whatever's locked down is completely locked down. I'm just checking these bulbs to see if the hose has come off, the little copper tube. My word. Normally I have some kind of symptoms as to which one. When it's pumping down in heat like that, most people would assume that it's this TXB, which is the one that is metering for heat. I don't want to assume though, because as you see, we got two TXVs in this liquid line within a couple feet of each other. My first thought that it is this one, but I didn't see any icing. Normally I see icing right here and I didn't see any. <laughs> This must be a high pressure switch. So where's my low? <laughs> Do I even have a low pressure switch? That's going to be defrost thermostat. I do not see a low pressure switch. I keep hearing some hissing. It has air around this. No. Nope. All right, so I don't see a low pressure switch. We just have a high pressure switch or a loss of charge. Let's see if we can read this. It might help us diagnose. I'm not seeing a pressure rating on this. Oh, there we go. There's a high pressure switch. That's a high pressure. And this is a loss of charge. How come that's not going off? Well, if I still got high pressure right here, this would not shut it off. The low pressure is on this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. So I'm going to say it's this TXV right here. Let me on. Try something real quick.
Whew, that was a lot of pressure built up behind that. looks normal for these temperatures I'm running it in cool right now it is 62 degrees outside that looks normal charge switch so um, this still has pressure but there's no pressure on this side right here and y'all saw my I don't know if y'all saw the accumulator icing up it was iced up up to here that means there's low pressure on true suction Um, if I got time, I might be able to do this today if I can get the part. All right, the way it was running, I was afraid it was going to damage the compressor. So um, I went ahead and wired these together. And I'm going to tell her that if she needs heat until I can get it fixed, we need to put it on emergency heat. took it out to measure um if you run it without a filter it will cause a major repair okay well i think you just took that one out recently to measure it. there was one at some point i don't know how many days it was but okay um you have a problem outside a problem outside yes the one of the txvs is locking down oh. well guys um the TXV was available and I've already gone to pick it up, but the customer doesn't want me to do the job until the end of next week, so I can't do the repair right now. I'll bring you back probably after AHR and we'll do that repair. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that one was completely locked down. I wasn't allowing anything to pass except in the other direction. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.